Hey, to, uh, this week we're going to be talking about big and little. So all week long we'll be talking about things that are big and little. Um, you know the song, the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. What if we changed that to the big gigantic spider? Oh my goodness, that would change our everything, wouldn't it? It would change our hand from this itsy bitsy. It might be a the big gigantic spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the big gigantic spider went up the spout again. But if the spider was really big, it may not even be able to climb up a water spout. We may have to change that to a building. I don't know. Your imagination can go everywhere, can't it? So we're talking about big and little. So I wanted to talk you, to you a little bit about the word perspective. Perspective is the way you see things. And your, it's also known as your point of view. And your point of view can change on the person looking at it. And I was going to show you a little poem that shows that. So let me see if I can get it over here with my pictures. Okay, the poem is called Giant. Giant is a matter of perspective. Remember the way you look at things. An elephant is a giant to a lion. A lion is a giant to a pig. A pig is a giant to a rabbit. A rabbit is a giant to a frog. A frog is a giant to an ant. To whom is an ant a giant? Hmm. Oh. A mother is a giant to a baby. A basketball player is a giant to me. Who is a giant to you? Do you see how that shows perspective? To a lion, oh my goodness, if he looks at an elephant from his point of view, his perspective, that elephant is huge. But if he looks at the pig, well, that pig's not that big, huh? It's little. So the lion sees things from his perspective. That little frog, he looks at that rabbit and thinks, hey, he's pretty big, but ho, ho, ho. But look at the little ant. That's completely different. So your perspective is the way you see things. All right, on your assignment, I want you to draw me a picture of a big animal and a little animal. Don't forget to use lots of details, colors. Don't forget to add the tail and the spots, the ears, the nose, and have fun with it. I can't wait to see it.